Good morning, United States. Hello, hello, hello. Just stopping by for a few minutes on this Monday, beautiful Monday, the day that the Lord has made with His new mercy, fresh every morning with a new fresh of bread, our bread, uh, the manna that God has for us. And as we pray this morning for our Father who is in heaven, to give us our daily bread that his name is higher than above all names that his name is holy that his kingdom come now it is here on earth now in inside of mankind good morning good morning Zaki good morning how are you good morning Luzby just doing a short quick road download for all of you I just want to share the goodness of God and the reason I do road download sometimes is because I feel I feel the joy of the Lord I feel the strength of the Lord not just by feelings but I know I know that the Lord is in me with me and with you and with all of us and we have to acknowledge him every day we have to acknowledge the Holy Spirit every day being with us and in us and it can be Prove it can be proved by how this world you know looks right now, especially in the morning. Good morning, Zaki from Africa. And I just want to turn my comp my laptop, my phone to the other side. You the sun is up today, it is cloudy, but every day, though it is cloudy, that it is a glorious day in the Lord. It is a glorious day in the Lord today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just praising God for nature today. Just praise God wherever you are. Just give Him glory and thank Him. You know, all our praises, all that we have is from Him. We owe a lot of things in our lives right now through Him. Through Him, through our God. You know, and sometimes I want to go out in the field so that I could just express with my full voice you know the power of God the glory of God the magnificence of God that we worship him in spirit that we worship him in truth Lord we worship you we thank you we glorify your name we lift up your name above all names in the earth and in this world that you alone are our king that you father God reigns the father God you hold everything in this world that we submit to you we give unto you ourselves father God we submit our daily lives we submit this morning as we go on with our regular routine we want to acknowledge you to be ordering our steps you said the, or, the steps of the good man are ordered by the Lord father God I lay my feet on the ground for you to order my steps today I lay my hands I lay my body here in this world today that you may lead me and guide me that your name will be magnified through me that your name will be seen and known by many in this world Lord God you know when you're outside when you're outside sometimes go outside hallelujah thank you Anthony and Devin pastor Devin when you go outside hello mama when you go outside in the field you know you can just really glorify God and 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 just uh, beholding just glorifying in his presence like God thank you so much thank you so much for being in the inside of me thank you Holy Spirit for staying inside me thank you for making me a vessel thank you for making me your temple thank you that you have chosen me to be a place where you reside thank you father for being with me I honor you I bless you I can't do anything without you I can't do anything without you Holy Spirit so today this day that I go I don't go on this regular work on my own but father you are with me you are in me continue to bring the living waters out of my belly in order to praise you to be in truth and and you father God instruct me instruct me in the way that I should go so I just want to show you that this morning and wherever you are in the Philippines 
magnify, glorify God. Look up in the sky. Look up His greatness. Look at the wonders of the works of God. It is unlimited. And sometimes we even have to look. I'm going to show you this. We even have to look at the little things, this creation of God that continues to have green leaves in the morning. Though they are by the wayside. Though they are by the wayside side these plants are continually growing because god has given them life god has given them its a uh, function that wherever there is a soil and water they will grow so wherever you are wherever you are you might not be in the place where you want it to be you might not be in the place that you are in the garden but look this flower this flower right here as you can see the limbs are dying, but the flower is being sustained. The flower is being sustained by the glory of God. There's so much things that we have to really bless God with. And sometimes we may miss it. Sometimes we may miss it. These little things, let's not ignore the little things. Because in the little things is where God is. In the little things is where God shows His glory and power. In the small things is where God works so that His wonders can be shown. Not in just the great things. What work will God do on things that are already great? That are already great. So those who are right now feeling like you're small, feeling there's nothing significant happening in your lives. Remember, God is still with you and in you. And He's leading you. And there is a purpose. You may not see the purpose of you being here on earth. But our purpose is to replenish this earth with the glory of God. That we represent even, even the nature is showing and praising God that we as well that have voices should continue to honor God to release the worship the praise the glory and the honor unto our father I was going to share something today but I just am led right now to pray for everybody you know right now because God is so good God is so good and I want to pray with you wherever you are I should go to your sleep I should go lay down I should go to your work I'm praying Lord Father God in the name of Jesus by the same spirit that we have in Christ Jesus will be the same spirit of joy the same spirit of peace the same spirit of love that love cast out fear that when you have the spirit of love there's no fear in love continue to step in faith with love love for God and trust him trust him that all your steps and pathway have already been prepared by God that nothing will harm you that you will walk and the devil will run away that know that you have your authority that who you are is a king and a priest for the father we are king and priest here that we know who we are that we are the sons of God that we're gonna walk through this world without any fear without any blemish before the Lord that there's no condemnation that there's no longer a uh, shame and guilt that all these things you are a new creation we no longer live in the past God has given us a new man a new spirit a spirit a man that is in Christ a man that is has the resurrected spirit of God of Jesus in us this is the new us that every morning that we get up in the morning let's get up a new person a new beginning for all of us for that is the victory that we have the grace that God gives abundantly abundantly every morning that we should receive it that makes us stand against the works of the enemy he said in Ephesians you know that you after you do everything he said stand he said stand firm so that means that when you already have done the works that you had to do in prayer and in battling the enemy and the works of this uh, world against you, darkness, you just have to stand firm. And that's why you have been given the shot of peace that your feet after praying and warring in the spirit 
Stand your feet on your ground with the shot of peace. That we will stand in peace that passes, not, uh, passes all understanding in this world. He knows that after the battle, we will just stand in peace and know that through that, we're going to continue to live without any fear, without any doubt that there's going to be a rest. That we rest in peace in the power of God. You know, we, I just glorify God this morning. I pray for all of you, men and women of God. Pastor Devin, you are so wonderful. You are so anointed. You, you are, you know, I can't even begin to say how powerful you are, how anointed you are, how God is using you. Ambassador Jev, uh, Devin, that you truly are a glory carrier, that you truly are a son of God. You're manifesting that new man in you and you are infecting and influencing a lot of people in the community where you are. And Anthony, thank you Jesus for Anthony Young. Continue to do so what you're doing. I pray protection and, and I not just pray, but I release the protection, the shield of the Father in your lives right now and today that by the blood of the lamb we are all shielded we are all protected we are all hedged and with the bloodline of jesus of protection good morning mauricio from italy and thank you so much for joining me for this few minutes just to be able to worship god and continually encourage one another to build up one another that when we build one another i build up myself as well thank you chris thank you chris i love you so much chris continue to walk in the lord with your health complete you know when we believe in god we're gonna walk in god knowing with confidence it says in first john 2 20 that you know, if we are confident that we are of Christ, if we are confident that we are of God, so then let's think about it that so is He, we are also. As He is, we are also. Jesus, God did not withhold His Son. God did not withhold His Son, Jesus Christ, to come to us and be in us. When he ascended in heaven, he came back to be with all of us individually. So God did not withhold the greatest, the ultimate, the reason of why we're here is to live in God, with God, and him in us, and we in him. That is why we are said new creatures. We are a new breed, new creature, and new race. We are complete in him. And now that we are complete, let us grow and be, and be what we are completed to be. Thank you so much. Hi, Brother Ray. Hi, Chris. Hello, everybody. This is just a short, uh, just short road download, as you say, before I go to work. I just can't help it today, but to praise God and to glorify God. Thank you so much, Brother Ray. Thank you, everyone. And I'm going to be sharing more on Thursday for road download and God bless you all I love you I'm gonna put my phone here now thank you so much I love you all I'm praying for you I just want to let you know the power of God in you is what this world is waiting for so read Ephesians 6 read Ephesians 6 let me go ahead. Um, hi, Pratima. And I just want, there's so much revelation in Ephesians 6 about the armor of God. The armor of God. Let's be armored, especially with the shield of faith. Now, the helmet, I just want to go ahead and share a little bit. The helmet of salvation, that tells us our position in Christ, our salvation puts us in the right position in God, that we are now back in the kingdom of God as his sons. That's why salvation is important because salvation puts us in a position to become sons of God. So stay in position as a warrior, as your weapon. Your first weapon is in the head, the helmet. Who is the salvation? Christ. 
Why is it a helmet? Because Christ is the head of the body. So our salvation is our position of being sons of God. Remember who you are first. You have to remember in your mind that you are a son of God, that you are from the kingdom of God and not of darkness, that you have been given the authority. That helmet is like a crown of authority that you are now a son of God. And as you put the helmet, you are now given the authority to have the sword, the word of God to speak against the principalities and the enemy and the devils and the demons of this world. Now you put the breastplate of righteousness, the breastplate of righteousness that is protecting your heart, your heart, where your heart, all things, you know how it says out of your heart, out of the abundance of your heart, you know, your mouth speaks, but also out of your heart comes the evil thoughts, comes the evil things that defiles man. So cover that with the righteousness that let righteousness comes out of your mind, your mouth, that let righteousness cover the evil things that are coming to try to come out of you. Cover that with the righteousness of God so that when you walk in authority in this world, you will be releasing just that of the mind of Christ, just that of the thoughts of God, just that of the thoughts of the noble things. And then you should get the shield of faith. Why the shield of faith? You know why? Because the enemy works against faith by putting doubt in you, by giving you fear, by making you double-minded, by bringing disbelief in you. He, the enemy will throw these things. Where do the enemy throw these things? He throws these things right here by your front. They're not putting it. You know, when the darts are thrown, it will be thrown at you in every place of your body so that faith with your shield, you can move it around wherever the devil wants to attack you. By your thoughts, by your physical infirmities, by your physical body. The shield of faith is your weapon that those things will not enter and you will not allow for the darts and the works of the enemy to get through you. That's why I use the shield of faith because that shield should make the works of the enemy rebound. It is like when you're in the movie, you're like in a bubble that's impenetrable. You are impenetrable. That's the word. You cannot be permeated. You are impermeable and impenetrable. Look at the meaning. You are imper impermeable. You cannot be permeated by the works of the devil. He cannot permeate to your spirit. The devil can only work through your flesh and your soul. But your spirit, he has no power to permeate your spirit because your spirit is the spirit of light. Because your spirit is the spirit of the Lord. And the enemy cannot stand before the spirit of the Lord and spirit of light. So now then you have the belt the belt of truth. Why do you have the belt of truth? Why is the truth put down around your belly? You know, because the truth, Jesus said that he is the truth and he is the life. That the truth is in the inside of us. It is here in our belly where the flowing of living waters, the living waters, the truth is everlasting flowing spirit that's in the inside of us and it comes from deep inside like our belly that we need to continue to allow the truth and truth is connected to the word of God every armor that we put on is connected to God so I want to share that with you as long as you know that today and every day to put the armor of God that you know you are of heaven, that you are of Christ, that who you're coming from is from the light and from God and from heaven, that no power of this world, no power from the enemy can overcome it. So walk and bless the Lord and thank the Lord for what he has given to us and for what he and for who he has given to us. He has given us the Holy Spirit, 
which is our wisdom and understanding who will teach us all things. Nothing more powerful but the Holy Spirit working in us and with us that we both unite and work together in order to fulfill the mandate that this world be like it is in heaven in the name of jesus you're gonna walk walk like you're walk as if you are in heaven now think of how it is in heaven and walk it walk it in here speak like heavenly talk and relate to other people as a heavenly warrior you are you are you are different you are different and let the world see the difference in all of us i love you all god bless you have a wonderful awesome week i'm excited for you i love you greater things are coming in the holy spirit and allowed him to continually work in us and also it says in philippians 2 13 that the power of god working in it in us making us to both to will and do the works for his pleasure thank you hello again to everybody uh victor let me see uh esther hello ori hello how are you ori i love you sister california i miss you hello pastor elton hello nicole hi danica hi danica i'll see you soon and to everybody that i haven't mentioned uh, to those, hi Pastor Jonathan, thank you so much for always being available and watching Road Download. And of course, to Ray and all the ICMA Philippines, Oscar, Marcin, and I also want to greet uh, Alva, Pia, all the mentors, Tiago, um, and everybody else here in the United States, ICMA USA, and ICMA Philippines, and ICMA Africa, and India, and Pakistan. Pastor Christian, I want to say hello to you also. Uh, thank you so much. I love you all. God bless you. And if you'd like to encourage anybody, uh, please share this video to them. And also, please don't hesitate. If you need prayer uh, for healing, uh, you can just message me because I am here available to agree with you in the name of Jesus that you are healed. I am here with you in the name of Jesus, in our authority, that all the enemy be gone right now. Through in your body, be gone in the name of Jesus, that you are now set free in Jesus' name. Love you all. Thank you, Mom. Bye. I'll see you Thursday.